All right. Hello, everybody. So today we are going to look at hydroelectric power. So in your Edmodo, go to the post that says hydroelectric power. We have a link for the reading. We have my email you can send um, your documents to. And we have, um, sorry, and we have the practice questions. So let's get into this. So, um, moving water has energy. So the energy is used to make electricity. So hydroelectric power, or also known as hydropower, is going to use the energy of water moving down a stream. All right. So to be able to get the power, this hydropower, um, a stream needs to be dammed. So narrow valleys are going to be the best for dams because it's the least amount of construction. Um, so when the water is behind the dam, it has potential energy. So it's storing the energy, it's not moving. When this water is allowed to flow downhill, um, it's going to flow downhill into the into a large turbine and make the turbine spin. Now the water has kinetic energy because it's moving. All right. So this spinning turbine is connected to a generator which makes electricity. So um, a lot of streams in the US have been developed for hydroelectric power. You're probably most familiar with the Hoover Dam. Um, and many streams around the world have hydroelectric plants. So hydroelectric power doesn't burn a fuel, so it's not polluting. And it's also a renewable resource because the water is going to keep flowing downhill. All right. And we're also not using up the water. You know, it's just being recycled. So as with any um, energy source, Hydropower does have some cons. So a dam is going to stop a stream's flow and the dams we make, it's not like a beaver building a dam. Beavers building a dam is a natural dam. Um, we're building unnatural dams. So this can cause the land upstream to flood, um, which is not good, but then the dams can also harm the downstream environment. So living things downstream may not be able to survive. Um, also, dams slow the release of sediments. So downstream deltas, so the thing at the end of the uh, stream, is not going to have enough sand. Beaches may not have enough sand. And then Seaside cities, because of this sand, because the sand keeps the water at bay, um, seaside cities may become exposed to storms and rising sea levels. So hopefully that all makes sense. Make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.